Hello guys and welcome to our playthrough of Pokemon New Snap. I'm really excited to get started with this. I've been waiting for this game since they've announced it. I never thought they would make a new Snap game, and they did. I'm actually a bit more excited for this than I think most people are, considering I never got to play the original Snap. And the way this looks is incredibly beautiful. Honestly, it's what I imagined a mainline game on the Switch actually looking like. So I'm just gonna... So before we begin, I'm just gonna mention some stuff. First up, I'm not gonna be reacting to anything auditory. I know this game has voice acting in it, but I'm not gonna really notice it because I actually cannot hear audio while I'm recording, unfortunately. So if there's any audio cues within the game itself that I don't recognize, like a Pokemon cry that's signaling me to look a different way, or just voice acting in general, I do not have that. I'd seen some trailers from Pokemon Directs, um, but I, I hadn't seen... Um, I hadn't followed it much. Uh, let's go English... Please select a language for character voices. Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, there's a no voice option. Uh, I might do voices on and hope they're not too loud. If I could do voices on and hope they're not too loud, that'd be good. Um, so I think I'm going to try... I think I'm going to try that. You can change voice languages later. Okay. Yeah, okay, so I can do that. It's kind of weird having character customization in a game like this, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's, it's really weird. So let's see what happens. Uh, let's go. Mad Nim. Mad Nim. Boom. There we go. Am I ready to start? Yes. We have made the character. It's really weird having character customization like that. Look at this so far. Wow. Laboratory of Oncology and Natural Science. Ooh. This is this is what I hoped it looked like. Pokemon Snap 2, which is what it should say, but instead it just says new Pokemon Snap. Wow, they even have textures for fabric. This is honestly what what a mainline game should look like. If they made a mainline game like this, I would not complain. Wow. The animations are already high quality too. I could tell. Okay, so they're talking, but I cannot hear them. Greetings. Unfortunately, I cannot hear them. If you guys think the balance is very off in the comments, let me know and I'll fix it for future parts. Hey there, glad you made it. Welcome to the laboratory of e uh, whatever. Blah, I'm not going there. Lens. Oh, nice. His name is Mirror. Is that a tree thing? I don't think that is this time. I don't think he's Professor Tree anymore. Professor Mirror? Come on. Uh, I'm a researcher of Pokemon, their natural environments on this island. Okay, so are, is there going to be an actual uh, region map? The Lentil region. No one has ever done a survey like this before. Okay. Aren't you forgetting a certain explorer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm guessing this is a full-on rival. I've read the stories of Captain Vince. This is a way different game than the original Snap. I can already kind of tell. It's way different. But even counting him, your survey is going to be... Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to read it out loud, actually. There, you guys have voice acting. You guys know. I'm going to read in my brain. I'm going to read in my head. Okay, yeah, so she's definitely a rival. It's very weird having a picture-taking rival. <laughs> oh, that's right, and I appreciate the help. I actually think that's skipping over the audio, sorry. Anyway. Okay. So we're just gonna jump right into a, a tutorial, it seems. Which is nice, getting right into it. A game like this, I want to get right into it. Yay, you can see the lighting engine changes. Oh my god. Why can't we have lighting engines in actual Pokemon games? Yes! <laughs> okay. By the way. 
Yeah, I've seen that glowing Pokemon thing in advertisements once. That's cool looking. That's a cool looking camera compared to what you had in the first one. I know that. That's a really cool looking camera. Okay. Okay, so it's a full on. It's a full on. Okay, so it's an ID thing, a Pokedex for documentation, and a camera in one. That's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, we're jumping right in. Even the kid's wristband has, like, this reflective gloss on it. That is crazy. I want to see a Mega Ring like that. Hey, okay, here we go. Controls. Let's see the controls. Tutorials are... Tutorials are based on default button layouts. Okay? Um... A to take photo. Okay? I actually can't move. See that circle in the center? That's called the pointer. Yes, I know the pointer. Use L to move around. Hey, I wasn't sure if we were going to have gyroscope in this. It doesn't look like we do, which is good, because I'm using Joy-Cons that have a weird gyroscope anyway. Hey, so we're going to wait for that pavilion to turn back around. I'm going to look around. Is this a full 360 thing? It is a full 360 thing, but they're just trying to get me to use the tutorial. Okay. Oh, okay, so now it's actually identifying. Oh, okay, so that's for documentation. Oh, because they're going to organize it by Pokedex number, I'm guessing. Oh, okay, that's actually kind of a cool way of doing that. So that it's like, it recognizes that you're specifically looking at a Pikachu in your pictures. It's not just like a picture from this location. It's actually like, you specifically looked at the species. Times like this call for zooming in. Okay, so most of the work is all on the left Joy-Con so far. Oh, wow. Wow, that's really sensitive. I like it, though. Okay. Yeah, that looked good. Uh, yeah, and that's like an automatic uh, thing, too. I like that. That's really good feeling. You can adjust your camera and motion controls from settings. Okay. So there is gyroscope. I wasn't going to use gyroscope a lot, but I figured it might be a fun thing to mess with. I don't use gyroscope a lot in actual other games, so. Okay, let's see. That was the research camp. That was a full 360 degree map, too. That's really cool. So now this is how, how do the evaluations work? I actually don't know how evaluations worked in the first one. I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Well, I was very limited in what I could do, especially timing, but let's see. Yeah, they have full folders of each individual po- What the heck? That's cool. So it, it just automatically... Whenever I take a picture of any Pikachu, it'll automatically come here. You could choose a photo with those. Well, I don't have those. I have a D-pad. Uh, or by moving the pointer. Press A when you decide which one to show. Okay. Um, that's the only one that has any fidelity. Now let's try selecting one from the Vivillion folder. It's the only one with fidelity. Press plus to or select. Okay. Oh, well, there's also a full-on button on the screen for it, so I'll do that instead. How about that? That looked like Smash right there. That looked like something you'd see in Smash, like a Smash introduction. That's cool. Hey, it's the first Pikachu. And they have size direction? It actually monitors their direction? And the pose? What the hell? That's pretty complex. I knew size was a thing in the game. 
Okay. Yeah? And then the background, too. That's... That's so different. It must really monitor this in order to automatically store it and rate it. Yeah. It clearly... Evaluating po That's so weird! I mean, that's really cool, but I wonder how the heck that works! How the heck they recognize that crap! Okay. That's better direction Pokemon facing. Try to get it facing you and your photos. Next is placement. Yeah? Yeah, I don't really care about scoring stuff, but I do think that this is really interesting. Here's the full valuation. Background inconclusive. That's quite interesting. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure how it even factors that. That's really cool. <laughs> it's marked. Is that marked as star? Okay, yeah, it's got the star. So it's a single one star. That is a horrible pavilion page. <laughs> That's terrible. You can not even see it. I wonder how it's going to rate that direction. I love the little silhouettes they have, too. That's... That's cool. Okay. That's a good score. As far as I'm concerned, I don't think you can get a two or three star first time around in this thing. Wow, this is really interesting, though. They've really thought a lot of stuff through to build on the original. Let's get your photos evaluated. You can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo packs. That'll be a great milestone. I don't know how many Pokemon they put in here. Yep, we're done. We're ready. I wonder how many Pokemon are in this. I don't know how many were in the original. I think it was just Gen 1 Pokemon, right? That should just about do it. Alright. Let's see this pod. It'll carry... Yeah, this pod is the weird one. The Neo 1. This is the thing I've been incredibly concerned about as far as how weird this would be. The Neo 1. It could just teleport. What, is it run off an Abra? Is it running off of an Abra? A little help from someone I know makes us energy spots. Energy hot spots. Oh no. So like Dynamax. Oh god. Details can wait. Let's get you moving. Touch your camera to the console. This looks better than any Pokemon game we've had so far. Holy crap. Okay, they legit need to let these people develop a mainline game. My god, they need to let these people develop a mainline game. Photo memory space. You can take up 72 photos per research expedition. Unless your first time on the course, your expedition will end when your photo memory reaches zero. Okay, interesting. So you do have limits per round. Wow. And that's how the this is how the track works. Okay, wait. The Neo one will automatically oh, yeah, I'm very interested. Are there any other controls? Okay, right stick centers you. Left stick, I don't know. I don't think it does anything. There's a Grookey over there. I don't know how to get attention. I think you can't do that yet. I don't think you could do that yet. Uh, yeah, there's too much to look at. Oh my god, can I look all the way around? Yeah, I can. Wow. Okay. Yeah, there's so much to look at. Look at that one! Oh my god! This makes other Pokemon games look very meh. <laughs> okay, let's see what's in front of us. So we're just going up here. I know a lot of these things are placed for Pokemon to interact with. 
There's a wormpole. I know wormpole. I like wormpoles. Oh wow, that's cool. Already I'm gonna What the okay Emolga? Okay, wait a minute, this is too much. Crystal bloom. So there are there are actual landmarks to look at now. Oh my god. Okay. These guys need to be hired to do something bigger. Cause this looks this looks legitimately incredible. We got Talos. Wow. Wow. If I knew Pokemon games could look like this, I would have. I would have been more picky about it. What the hell are you doing? You dang crazy? There's a Bidoof! We gotta, uh, we gotta pay attention to Bidoof, because it's gonna be in the, in the next main lines. Okay, so that centers my screen. Does. I don't see if the right triggers do anything. Uh, wow, there's just so much going on. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, run, bits. Run, bits. He gonna be mad in a minute here. I could tell. I could tell on his face. It says, he gonna be mad. Oh my gosh, is that another Swana? Those are more Swanas. Good lord, this is really, in, like, how did they pack so much stuff into one place? This is kind of how I'm wondering. The models of the Pokemon, I'm just going to say really quick also, they look phenomenal. Like, this is as high res as I think Pokemon can ever be. I don't think you can get much. Holy crap, look at the Comfe. That's crazy. What the hell's that? Oh, is that the ending? I think that's the ending of the... Of the... Of the road. That's the end of the line. Is that floor jet? Oh my god, I don't think I've seen this on the Switch yet. Yeah, that's a Pokemon that has not been updated. That's cool. They've got Pokemon in here that Sword and Shield don't got. What the hell? Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, so that's the end of the... Okay, so when you see that marker, you know you're near the end of the thing. And, like, I'm guessing you could... These are going to be worth going through again because you have a limit of pictures per time you go. And... So you might want to go through to get more. There are rare events that don't happen all the time because the Pokemon interact with each other differently. So it's worth going through multiple times. And then there's so much stuff to look at in every direction that you can't possibly see everything that's going on around you the first time through. This is really cool. Anyway, So I got, I got 10... Pokemon in the centers, so documented, and then 23 total. Go ahead and choose one per Pokemon. Okay, now is this one per Pokemon to save in the decks, or is this like one that I can keep at all? That was an absolutely horrible Grookey, but it does say I have to save one of each. Uh, I like the one with the Bidoof there. That's really good. I had a few interesting ones of Wormples, actually. I think that one's the best one because you could really see the model. Like, that's crazy. That's some craziness. That one has to be the one for Florges. There were a lot of good ones for Swana, too. I don't, I don't know. I'm going to say that. Talo. That one's pretty good. This is really nice. It looked like there's much more to do here than in the first one. I got Bidoof. I like that one. Uh, I got me some Bidoofs. Can't really see the comb phase there, but I mean, it's just for documentation, honestly. And then there are no subject ones. 
Yeah, what's that all about? I, I don't remember in the original there actually being, like, things on the map. It was all just Pokemon. And yeah, there were environments, but they didn't, like, encourage you to document the environments. That looks like Smash Bros. I'm not gonna lie. That shit looks like Smash Bros. That's awesome. Let's have a look. Grookey. Yeah, kinda meh. But let's see how he does it. I don't really care about ratings. I just care about getting stuff that looks cool. I wonder what the actual scores matter for. Is it just to kind of level up for stars, or do you actually get, like, more stuff the more of those individual points you gather? I, I don't know what the background is about. I, I Maybe there's an actual... Like, you know how you could hover over the Pokemon or an individual thing like that flower? Maybe there's, like, a background you could hover over, like a marker that encourages you to look in a certain direction. And that's what that is? Other than that, I don't really know. That was a two-star. I think it's because we had a Bidoof, right? That was because we had a Bidoof in the picture? That's a really good Wurmple. Here's my next question. Can you, like, noticeably tell size difference side by side? Like, if there's a small Wurmple and a big Wurmple, how noticeable is that? And also, here's the big, big question. And I mean big question. Are there shinies? That'd be very cool. I want to see shinies in these models. These are graphically amazing. Is it going to recognize I had Comfey? Because Comfey is really in the background there. Is it going to know? Yeah, it knew. That's really cool. Wow. And that got to three stars just because there were so many Pokemon there. Dang. That's a great Swana. I know it's not up close like the others, but you got to admit, that's really cool. And when it says other Pokemon, does it count total Pokemon in the frame or different species? Total. Okay, cool. Wow, this is really interesting. I, that's a cool Taylor. I like how I got the map. I would have chose the other one, but I liked how the map blended in. This is really cool. I'm falling in love with this as far as, like, a, a nice thing to relax and spend time with. Especially just seeing the Pokemon all high res. Even on Sword and Shield, sometimes they look kind of pixely. This is like... Oh my god. Game Freak needs to not outsource Ilka as much as they are. And maybe outsource these guys for, I don't know, Legends Arceus? Gen 8, maybe? My god. That's really cool. We got Bidoofs and Magikarp. I'm guessing all the Pokemon that are in here have their pre-evolutions and evolutions. And not just them as an individual. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing that fills up our Pokedex as far as like what we're guessing is in here. How many Pokemon we're guessing. Yeah, that was a lot. This is a lot. This is a lot. Just off of one one thing. Like, this is a lot. My god. This is a lot. Is Pavilion our last one? Both, all my Pavilion pictures have sucked so far. As far as what they actually look like. Although, it seems the scores seem to like them. Yeah. Okay, so you get one star. One per star per album. Okay, that makes sense. So I'm guessing to fill your decks, you have to get one one star, one two star, one three star, one four star of a single Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are levels. There are levels. Anyway. For each individual point. Your research level on a course tells you how much progress. Okay, what do you get though? Oh, that's what in that's what ups your rare event. Uh, chances. Okay. Oh, yeah. So there's really a lot of reason to go back now. To go through a different level a ton. One thing I'm curious of is there day-night cycles that affect Pokemon in these uh, maps? I don't know. The key to raising your research levels is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. That means getting photographs of them in every category. Yep, I figured. Okay. 
In short, fill up that photo dex. Okay, well that's really cool. Well, you only get to take one picture away from each species each time. So if I get like one two star, one three star, and one four star, for example, uh, that that would even out to that, I can only take one of them. So I have to go back and get another different one. Okay. Yeah, so this is, this is a very in-depth thing. Oh, okay, so there's titles in this game, like, like, Pokémon. Cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, save. After you, your research trips, you can choose Pokémon to save your album, your space in the lab. Okay, you can also re-snap to make changes. I knew that there was photo editing, which was very cool. That Grookey can go to hell. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna take that. Um, I'm gonna definitely take all the wormples. I like the wormples. I guess I'll take the flower thing too, just because I, I don't know what that is. I'm not a big fan of the Magikarp one, so I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna take the Swanas and the Talos. I'm taking the Bidoofs. Bidoof is a god, and it needs respect, and it's going to get its respect in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, hopefully, where it's not just going to be used for HMs and nothing else. Uh, so I'm, I'm giving it some extra respect now. Hashtag respect. Uh, I'm definitely taking the Florgis's too. It's really cool seeing that Florgis in, in HD. That's crazy. Okay. And then let's see, select photos to save. Uh, oh, I could also be pushing the plus button. Oh, I'm a dumb dumb. Okay. Um. Okay, I think we got it. Was it not letting me do that? No, it was. It was letting me. Okay. So we're going to see what we could do. I'm going to say return to camp. I think that should do it for part one. I'm going to keep continuing playing this game on the channel because I'm really enjoying it. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you want changed about this. Once again, I can't hear the audio currently. If you guys dislike the audio levels, tell me in the comments and I will be sure to fix them as best I can. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.